The suicide of a transgender teen from Kings Mills is galvanizing the LGBT community. Several vigils are planned in the new year for 17-year-old Leela Alcorn, born Josh. Alcorn died when she walked into traffic Sunday morning on I-71. In her suicide note, she says her parents were not accepting her true gender identity. Her story is now bringing to light the struggles families can face when raising a transgender child. Not on your side's Jason Law joins us now with answers for parents who may be wondering tonight what they would do in that situation. Jason? This is a tough question, not an easy question to answer at all. What if you're a parent and your 15 or 16 year old son or daughter comes to you and says, hey, I want to change my gender. What do you do? Well, we talked with a mother and her son tonight about how they got through that tough transition together. Danny Stempler read the suicide note. He knows exactly what Leela Alcorn was going through. I'm just so sad that she had to take her life for her to feel safe and in her own body. And I felt that before. Danny was born Danielle. He began making the gender transition when he was 19 years old. If they're not part of the community, if they haven't seen it in their own lives, it's very hard for them to comprehend that I have a female body but a male soul. He says he succeeded because of the support he received at home. But it did take a while for mom to get used to the idea of losing her daughter. But I will admit it was hard. I gave up a daughter, but I have a son. And in, in, he's my child. It doesn't matter. He, she, it, he's my child. And I love him. And it didn't change who Danny is. See, that, that can be, that's tough for parents, you know, mm -hmm. because you think yes, about it is. the permanent. I mean, that's a serious thing. And if yes, a 15 year old or 16 year old. And the comes surgeries? To, yeah, yes. so uh, yeah, again, like how do parents handle that? One step at a time. Um, I think you have to accept that you're grieving a child, uh, a gender. I asked Danny to wait. I said, please wait. Let me get my head around it. Uh, let's do this. It'll take me a minute. It'll It'll take me a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do this one step at a time. So we did it in, in a, a progression. Now, Danny says outreach groups helped him through some of the darkest points in his life. So we wanted to share some of those numbers and places to call. If you're looking for help, we have posted them on the bottom of our main article on the front page of WCPO.com.